Okay, we're getting unstuck tonight. Someone is getting unstuck tonight because it's a season of acceleration. So you're getting unstuck in your emotions so that you can move forth. Move forth, move forward. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that it is your mercy that keeps us going. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. We thank you, Father, because you are the God who heals. We thank you, that you are the God who restores. We thank you, Father, because your mighty hand is always upon us. Your mighty hands has been with each and every one of us, Father Lord. And we thank you, O oh God, that you would never leave nor forsake anyone that is on this line tonight. Because that is your promise, Father. So I speak to every discouraged heart tonight. I speak to every heart that says, I've been in this place for too long. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I was speaking to the Lord today, asking, Father, what are we praying about tonight? And he says, we're praying for belief, for you to believe again. Believe again that your season of being stuck is not forever. You're getting unstuck because God is getting ready to accelerate you. You're getting unstuck because God is getting ready to accelerate you. So I speak to that one. You've been discouraged. You feel like you've been in this place for too long. God says you are getting unstuck. If only you would believe that. We thank you, Lord, for we believe. We believe, oh God. We believe. We speak courage and belief. We declare that our faith is rising to a new level. We declare that we believe the word of God. We believe the promises of God. Let every unbelief be dismantled tonight in the name of Jesus. Every unbelief be dismantled. Every unbelief be gone tonight in the name of Jesus. God promises that you will rise up again. So rise up again. I speak my favorite scripture over you. A scripture that God gave me when he was getting me healed and getting me unstuck. My said, he says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. That's one of my favorite scriptures. I hold on to it daily. And I speak that over you tonight, that God is restoring you to health and God is healing you of all of your wounds because they called you an outcast. The one that Zion, they say Zion for whom no one cares. I speak to the one tonight who is believing that no one cares about them. God is very near to you. God is near to the brokenhearted. I speak healing over you tonight in the name of Jesus, that God is very near to you. And even if you don't seem like you can see him near you, even if you don't feel like there is anyone close to you right now, I'm just here tonight to remind you that God cares for you. That because no one seeks you, God is saying, I care for you. And God says that when, when our mothers and our fathers forsake us, that he will be there for us. So no matter who it is that you expect to be with you right now, I'm speaking to the one that seems to be alone. God is right there with you. And he promises that he would restore you to health and he would heal you of all of your wounds. So Father, we release tonight your healing power tonight. Let the healing power of God begin to touch everyone that is listening to me, everyone on this line tonight. 
begin to receive the healing of God. Let the restoration of God rest upon you tonight. Every soul that is wounded, every soul that has been mishandled, every soul that has waited for so long for that one thing that you believed. Because the Bible says that the hope defend makes the heart sick. Every heart that is sick because of a prolonged season, receive the healing and the restoration of God tonight. God says, I would heal you of all of your wounds. The power of God is healing every wound tonight, every soul wound. The power of God is healing your soul right now, even as I speak right now. You are getting healed even as I speak. You are getting healed even as I speak. The resurrection power is flowing into your soul and healing and giving you an excellent soul tonight. That every wound is healed. Let the wounds be healed. Let every trigger, every mindset, everything that triggers, that triggers pain, let it be exposed and let it be disarmed tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh God. You know, Psalm 25 says, we will sing joyously over your victory. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all our petitions. I declare tonight that the Lord has given you victory over that situation that keeps you stuck. And he says that he will fulfill all of your petitions. Heaven hears you as you declare. Heaven hears you as you scream and speak those petitions. Speak those words. Speak those promises of God. So let there be a shift in our mindsets tonight. And I, and I feel especially, I feel especially for the person that... You, it's been a long time and you're beginning to feel like God does not care about you. It's been a very long time. But I declare tonight that God is giving you an encounter with himself. An encounter that will cause you to recognize that he, not only is he with you now, but he's been with you all the while. He's been with you from the beginning of that thing up until this moment. God has been with you. And it hasn't taken so long because he's abandoned you. I pray that your eyes are opening and every eyes on the line is opening to see the hand of God moving in your situations. Tonight is a night of healing of the soul, healing of the soul. In the last two nights, we have just not really, really prayed. It's just been inviting the Holy Spirit to heal, to restore, to refresh. And we're still there. Tonight, God is healing souls on the line. God is healing wounds on the line. You know, I've shared my testimonies with you guys before. How my journey of healing, it just seemed like it's phase after phase after phase, layer after layer after layer. And I remember saying, when is this process going to be over? But you see, God wants you to be so excellent in your soul that nothing moves you that you become unmovable, you become unshakable. You know, when Jesus, when Satan was getting ready to do his final, Jesus said to his disciples, he said that Satan was coming, but that he would find nothing in him. And why was that? Because he had an excellent soul. And so God is working on each and every one of us. 
and it might seem like it's just layers and one thing after the other, but he is going to get you so excellent in your soul that Satan has nothing in you. Not on you, but in you. So tonight, we're just going to let God do his work. And we're going to shift our attitude towards the healing process. Shift your attitude towards the season of getting unstuck. Shift our attitudes towards the season of getting unblocked. Because sometimes it's the attitude in our, you know, our perception of what is going on that keeps us from truly receiving fully that healing that what God wants to release unto us. So I speak to discouragement, go in the name of Jesus. I speak to unbelief, go in the name of Jesus. Someone on the line, you literally are angry with God. You've, you've, you've just been in this place for so long that you are actually angry at God. I mean, you. this is subconscious because you're going through the motions. You're praying, you're doing everything, but you're angry at God. And there's a wedge because of that. You know, last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I went to Galveston with my daughter. We had an amazing time. We spent time in one of the beach homes. It was fun. It was relaxing. But then we met a lady at the resort she was actually an employee at the resort. And one of the evenings we got talking with her and she shared her story with me. You know, we were having a conversation and I just made some comments to her, things that the Holy Spirit shared with me and it kind of broke the wall, if you know what I mean. And the walls came down and she began to share. And she said, I lost my sister six months ago. So if you do the math, her sister was sick throughout the COVID season. And then finally her sister passed away. And I didn't know this. I reached out my hands to her and I said, can we pray? Is it okay if I pray for you? And she let me pray. And after I prayed and I, you know, said some things to her, she then broke down and started to share the story, how her sister was sick for so many months and then finally passed away. And she said to me, I have not prayed to God. I was so angry at God that I would not pray and I would not have anything to do with church or prayer because I was angry about my sister's death. And then I began to speak to her about my own journey and about my season in the past when I went through exactly the same thing. And I shared with her how God healed me of that. And after I did that, you know, she kind of changed the subject. And of course I ministered to her a little bit more had another opportunity to pray with her before we left the beach home. But then she sends a message afterwards, the very next day. What I didn't know 
is that she was also diagnosed with the same illness that killed her sister. And I had prayed with her, you know, and she was so happy. She said, I have not prayed in that six months. But then she sends a message the next day and she says, I haven't been able to keep any food down since she was diagnosed with this problem that she had. Basically, she throws up everything that she eats. But she said the next morning, for the first time in a very long time, she ate and she was able to keep that food down. We praised God for her report. And I know that her healing has begun. But it began with her making peace with God. It began with her running back to the only one that can save and the only one that can heal. So I'm saying to the person tonight, God is about the only one who can heal you. He's the only one who can sit, take care of you. He's the only one who can pluck you out of that situation. And sometimes obstacles and challenges and afflictions can get us to the place where the enemy wants you to literally turn your back on the one who can help you. I speak healing over your soul tonight. I speak healing over your mind tonight. And I declare that every wall between you and God is dismantled in the name of Jesus. I declare that restoration is happening in your relationship with Jesus. I declare that you are feeling the presence of God wherever you are right now that you are feeling the love of God, that you are feeling the love of the Father, that you are feeling the arms of the Father wrapped around you, knowing that he is right there with you and he never left you. I declare that your fellowship with him is restored and that you can hear him as he speaks words of love and peace as well as strategies unto you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing tonight. Thank you for healing tonight, oh God. Thank you, God, for your healing power at work tonight. Isaiah 30:15. Isaiah 30, 15, and the word says, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. When we repent and then we rest on the Lord, salvation breaks forth. So I declare that every heart on the line that needs to go back to God in repentance is doing so in the name of Jesus. And that we are resting, resting, resting in his love, resting in his presence, resting in his promises tonight in repentance and in rest is your salvation. Salvation will come. 
a way out will come as we come back to him in repentance and we come back to him in rest. Some of us have been running, 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 moving from one thing to the other, trying to find a solution, trying to get unstuck from that obstacle, trying to get out of that place of being stuck. You've tried every strategy. We've tried everything. We've read every book. We've quoted every preacher. We've quoted every author. But sometimes you just got to return to God in rest. Some of some translation says in return and in rest. Yes. The new King James, King James says in returning and rest, you shall be saved in returning. We got to return back to God. We got to return back to the presence of God. We have to return back to the place of worship. We have to return back to the place of thanksgiving. We have to return back to the place of holding on to his promises and his word. We have to return back to the last thing that he said, the last instruction that he gave. We have to return back to the prophetic words that were spoken, even if you haven't yet to see the manifestation. We have to return and we have to rest. And in that you shall be saved. And the second line says, in quietness, in confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. I declare that we are quieted in our souls. I declare that we are so healed that we are quieted in our souls tonight. Ha, Zephaniah 3 says that the Lord will quiet you with his love. Let every soul on the line be quieted with the love of God. Let the love of God quiet your soul tonight. Let the love of God quiet your souls tonight. Let our souls be quieted. Let the love wash you so much that you are quieted. Let every fear be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every form of fear be silenced that you are becoming quiet. Let every anxiety be dislodged and be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Let every lying voice uh, speaking woes, speaking fears, uh, speaking terror be silenced in the name of Jesus. And let confidence rise. Let confidence rise. For in quietness and in confidence of who God is in your life shall be your strength. So we receive quietness and confidence tonight. We receive the grace to return to God. We receive the rest, the ability to rest in him. We receive the quieted mind and soul tonight. And we receive confidence in who God is. And we declare that strength is rising in each and every one of us tonight in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you and we declare that we are strengthened. I declare that everyone is getting unstuck. Every emotional roadblock is dismantled, dislodged. And everyone is rising up and stepping up and moving into their accelerated place tonight. We thank you, God, for strategies, for unique strategies for everyone. We thank you, Father, that you're speaking to the minds of everyone and showing them, Lord, what returning looks like for them, what rest looks like for them, where they need to be quieted, oh God, and what part of you, what facet of you they ought to be confident in. We bless your name, Father. We receive healing, restoration, refreshing. We receive quieted souls tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Woo. Receive the peace of God. God says, my peace I give to you. 
Receive peace tonight. Receive peace tonight. Receive the peace of God all over you. Wherever you are, just sit down quietly, just like we did the last Friday. Just sit down quietly. Just receive, just drink of his peace. Let his peace wash over you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of you are getting downloads. You're getting downloads of what returning looks like for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for rest. The peace of God is bringing you into a state of rest. Sometimes it's really not about that which you're seeking. It's about the process. It's about the process. God wants us to trust him in the process. He wants us to trust him in the process because in the process is maturing you. In the process he's building you. In the process he's pruning you. In the process he's making you beautiful. He's making you beautiful in the process. He's teaching you. He's molding you. So, Father, we change our attitude. We embrace the process tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your peace. We could literally stay in this place. We're all at home. So just continue to stay in his presence and just receive that peace that is washing all over you right now. We're going to end the call tonight. But don't end being in his presence. Just relax where you are and just continue to receive. And I'll see y'all in the group. Share your takeaways tonight. Get in the group, just comment, share, share, what, share what experiences you had tonight. Share your testimonies. Thank you, Lord. And if you're watching this outside of the group and you want to join us, you can just go to the group Heart Breakthrough Prayer and request to join. Thank you all for showing up tonight. May you stay in this realm of peace and quiet. In Jesus' name. Good night. Have an amazing weekend and see you all in the group.